What's going on guys? This video is going to instantly make you better at Shindo life. So in this video, I'm going to be doing some tips and tricks that you guys may or may not know. And hopefully this video will instantly make you better at the game because I know I've said these to people before on streams, videos, the friends, and it has actually made them better at the game. So hopefully you do the same for you. Let's get right to the video guys. Remember that like button, subscribe if you guys aren't already. All right, so let's start this off with the most basic thing that I've ever told anyone and the thing that has actually helped people the most. So just to get it out of the way, if you are on computer, change your key bind. I have actually made my keybinds the way it is. Hopefully, Sudoku, you know, pops up on the screen for you guys. This will be the literal best thing that you've ever done in this game. Changing your keybinds is the first step to actually being better at the game. Whether it's just PvE, PvP, or just anything in Shadow Life, change your keybinds. Because the original keybinds they have it set up as, let's just say they're not the best thing in the world. So, you just want to go to your menu, go to the actual settings, change your keybinds. And, I, you know, change your, like, you could do whatever you want, obviously. I, ha I find it the most comfortable the way they are for me. Because that's the way they are in League of Legends and, you know, I play the game a lot but yeah changing your keybinds is like the number one thing that you could do if you're on computer that will it's literally i'm not lying when i say this it will instantly make you better at pvp or pve like literally instantly now another thing another quick thing to actually tell people you never want to stop moving in pve or pvp so you want to always be moving around this is why wide dash was so overpowered you know when that was an actual in the meta thing because if you can constantly move around it makes it insanely hard to hit you it makes it insanely hard to combo you you just want to always be moving around and also you guys got to really remember to block i know this is a fault of mine too uh it, you have to learn what moves the block and what moves not the block sometimes you take sometimes you don't take it's part of the game but overall i actually think dodging is a lot more important than blocking in this game because i feel like if you're able to constantly move around these auto tracking moves that you know auto track based on your cursor they won't hit obviously because you're constantly moving around how are you gonna get hit you know you're like doing the swerve you know what i mean now next up you obviously guys you guys want to have a gaming chair okay you know that's a joke but perfect blocking is really really important in this game right now so when you hit 150,000 damage when someone attacks you or when you're attacking someone you're able to block and perfect block out of a combo you also can block and just use an instant move but when it comes to perfect blocking it is super important right now it is actually the meta right now to perfect block out of combos and you got to learn how to perfect block so you just hold the right mouse button you want to click your mouse when someone's actually attacking you i think on mobile you just hit block and then attack xbox it's the same exact thing you want to block then attack remember you can only do this when they actually do 150,000 damage to you or before they start attacking you so remember the perfect block guys i i promise that it'll change your world man hey you yeah you have you remembered to hit the like button on the video yet if you have it already go ahead and do it now this goes without saying but you guys really need to pay attention to the balance changes now i try to cover a lot of the balance changes in my pvp videos tier list and all that stuff but sometimes there's so many balance changes because the up game updates every week or two weeks that there's just so many for even me to keep up with so you guys want to definitely go check out the trello shindle life trello they usually put the balance changes on there you guys want to keep up with the balance changes because these will impact the meta quite a bit because they usually nerf the best things in the game and then buff some things and make them super broken so you guys want to pay attention to these balance changes they are really really important in the game like for example shindai akuma you know the, the otherwise a joke god bloodline that used to be super op they buffed it and a lot of people actually didn't know they buffed it and people don't didn't know until you know i started posting videos about it shindai akuma first ability is really really busted right now because of the balance changes that's just an example by the way there's a lot more examples than that but yeah it's super important balance changes are where it's at man also this is just this is just something you should know for pve or pvp you want to practice so by practicing you just go into a public server start attacking someone you most likely will end up getting ganged on you know that's just how it is a shit of life you want to fight someone you get ganged on that that's just the truth but you guys want to actually practice so guys just go learn a combo you know some simple super simple combo and do it over and over again until you master it and then just repeat that with the new combos and you will eventually get better at the game that's why i've gotten to the point where i am now you know i may not be the best in the game but i'm definitely not the worst either you know i've had quite a lot of practice just by practicing combos and things like that so that could definitely help you just remember that practicing in this game it it will actually make you better at the game it actually will make you better at pvp and other roblox games too because uh, uh something similar about a lot of roblox games they've definitely they genuinely follow the same format of like pvp and stuff like that so getting better shit of life will just make you better at roblox games in general also this kind of goes without saying it kind of goes on with the balance changes thing but make sure to know what the best ball lines are now you may not have to use them but you need to know how to counter them 
So it, you kind of just need to know what the best bloodlines are. You know, I do do my tier list. Generally, the bloodline bloodlines that are rated higher are the better ones. You know, generally. And you know, so if you guys do, you know don't know anything, just go check out my tier list or go maybe join my Discord server. Ask some people what the best bloodlines are. You guys need to know what the best are so you know how to counter them. And some of them, you know, sometimes they're uncounterable. That's fine, but you still need to know what the best bloodlines are because not, even if you don't use them yourself. You gotta just know what they are so you know what to look out for when you're fighting someone. Because generally, the best bow lines, someone is almost always using it when you fight them. At least one of the best bow lines, someone is generally always using one. Also, this is something that I actually don't want to tell people. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of really annoying. You guys need to spam your heal. Every single chance that you ever get to heal, and I know this, this, is, this sucks saying this because it's the truth and it's, you know, very annoying to fight. You need to heal whenever you can. Whenever that healing stim comes off cooldown, whenever that healing pot comes off cooldown, if you if you have health that is missing, immediately get away and heal. The more you do this, the more long lasting you'll last. I've had competitive matches that I've won by doing less damage to them because I actually healed a lot more than them. Healing is, you know, one of the most important things about PvP in general, especially in duels. Duels is kind of even more important because if the time lasts out, it's based on the, the person that has the less HP, like the least amount of HP. But, you know, in duels, you shouldn't heal. You should make rules where you don't heal it's kind of scummy to heal in duels but you know some people fight duels by healing you know i guess people do whatever they want and this also goes for pve as well you want to heal whenever you can healing whenever you can is very important it's just vital to this game and you know if anything just go to the ramen shop once in a while you know it's like a free hp bar basically also this is kind of another thing i i feel like this is just something that should be said in general you guys you you need to just practice with new things. So even if you fight your friends, you know, your friends make fun of you because they beat you with like, oh, haha, -ha, lol, I beat you with mud. Dude, you just need to practice with new things because practicing with new things will make you better at the game, whether it comes to PvP or PvP. This entire, I feel like this entire video, it kind of goes for both. It goes for PvE and PvP content because they could be applied to both. You know, knowing, knowing the moves, knowing what's changed, knowing what's the best, and also practicing new things to know, like something with Rogue Games, you know, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Every developer does this they reuse assets that they've used before you know they every every developer does it so when it comes to that if they reuse assets if you practice with a lot of different moves you'll know when a bloodline comes out whether it's good or not because you will have you basically used part of the move before for example when odin sabru second came out sabru first was already really good and i was like oh my bejesus man that is a broken move because you know they basically took sabru's move gave it a block breaker and there you go man and this is also true for a lot of different moves in this game and yeah it's, it's it's definitely you know a very important aspect you want to try out as many new things as you can and it's also fun to try out new things like why don't you guys try out new things do it bro. by the way guys what do you guys feel is the biggest thing you've ever learned in this game what do you guys think is the best thing that you have ever learned or the best thing that has helped you the most of this game if you would tell me in the comments below and help some people out maybe you know this is going to be last but not least don't be afraid to ask for help you know even the best players in the game they always ask like you know for example some people my discord server who are you know probably some of the best people at rpg they you know ask each other questions or even ask me questions sometimes about some of the moves because you want to always ask people that's why i ask people you know what their opinion is so i can read the comments and ask don't be afraid to ask people for help you know even if helping is just like telling you what's good, just don't be afraid to ask people. I feel like a lot of people in this game, they have kind of a hu super huge ego. And uh, they, you know, they get to the point where they're like, oh yeah, I'm unbeatable. I don't need help. And then they get knocked once and people take a screech out of them and act like it's the end of the world. You you knock someone that, you know, that's not really, that's not really something to be like proud about. You knock them once. They knocked you like 20 times. Like, come on, man. But yeah, I would say don't, don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't let your ego get in the way. And yeah, that's about it man anyways guys if you guys actually enjoyed this video hit that like button subscribe if you guys actually want to see another one also if you guys haven't yet for free to go to my second channel and subscribe to it i will be up live streaming and uploading other games and stuff like that on that channel so be sure to go and do that anyways guys hopefully you see the next one bye bye